All right, so we spoke about um, fetal maternal hemorrhage. So we now spoke about some possible tests that could be done to dictate this. Let's look at the test in depth. So the first one is a Rosette test. Fetal screening, Rosette test. Okay. Okay. So what we have here is it's a screening test. It's used to dictate the presence of what? Restus positive fetal red blood cells in circulation of a restus negative mother. So you want to check if what the baby actually bled into the mother. Alright. There could be so many reasons why the baby could bleed. Alright. So it helps to access what? Fetal maternal hemorrhage, like I said. It determines whether additional testing such as what click how Brecht test is needed. Right. So what's the principle? The test relies on anti-D antibodies, which bind to any resus positive fetal cells in the maternal sample. So indicator cells that enzyme treated resus positive red blood cells are added. They form rosettes around the fetal cells. They bind all around. That's what they call the rosette test. So the presence of rosette under a microscope confirms that there's fetal maternal hemorrhage. Like the baby actually bled into the mother. You understand? Most of the times it's due to what? Restless incompatibility. So it's the mother's antibodies that usually attack the baby first. So uh, application is used in restless negative mothers after delivery to determine what um, the dosage of what immunoglobulin that they be giving. You understand? It helps to access what fetal maternal hemorrhage severities. And you now know which test to go on or which treatment to actually go on, right? So a positive rosette test indicates the need for quantitative testing like what? clear Brecht test to measure the extent, okay, of how it actually leaks out. Okay, so that's just it for this. See how it will look like under the microscope. So if you look around, you see a lot of patterns around that. That's rosette patterns. Okay, so that's it for this.